Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin and this channel is all about entrepreneurship and living your best life. And what I want to talk about in today's video is how to show up for your business, for your job, for your content creation, whatever it is that you're doing when you feel like crap. And I'm particularly referring to the females out there when you have your period. You know, it's absolutely no doubt that when we have that month, have that week of the month rather, that we feel a little bit less creative, less energetic, and probably less in love with ourselves. But sometimes we still need to show up and get things done. So what I wanna do is give you some tips and advice on how to be organized, have a contingency plan in place, and how to actually show up when you are feeling less than amazing. So if you love the video, I would very much appreciate it if you gave it a big thumbs up. And of course, if you are new around here, then consider subscribing. So before I go in and actually give you my tips, I wanted to just remind you that if you are a female, just to honor your period, you know, it is a cycle that we are supposed to have. It's not something that you should be sitting there being like, I hate this. It helps you to be a woman. It helps you to reproduce. So just honor the fact that yes, you might feel like shit, but it's not the end of the world. And it actually is a really good opportunity for you to take a step back and just take it easy. And I'm gonna give you some advice on how to show up when you are actually honoring the fact that you are a female and that cycle is absolutely amazing. So the first tip that I do have, and this is something that I kind of spoke about in my journaling video, but I wanted to go into a little bit more in depth because I did this topic as a Facebook Live. It deleted, so that's why I'm creating a video about it, but I wanted to go into explain it a little bit more. Something that's really good to help you to be more prepared and more organized, especially when you are building a business and you are going through the stage of feeling less than perfect during your period is to just be really aware and really attuned to exactly how you personally track through your cycle. I do this through journaling. What I do is I track my entire 28 day cycle. So every single day on a piece of paper, I will write down what day of my cycle it is. And then I'll write how I'm feeling and how I'm showing up in my business and all of the other things that are going on. I did this for quite a few months. And then what I was actually able to go back and do was analyze the trends amongst which block of days throughout my cycle I felt which way. So for example, I knew the four days before my bleeding phase, I felt crap. I did not feel good. I did not feel creative. I did not feel inspired. And then those first few days of the actual bleeding phase, I felt really you know, ugly. I felt really self-conscious. I felt really tired and really apathetic. There were phases in my period, probably from you know day 10 onto about day 24, that I just really felt creative. I felt like a boss. I felt like everything I wore was just totally rocking it. And so what I'm now able to do, because I analyzed those trends is that I can create business projects and plan and organize around when I know I'm gonna feel good and creative. Now you can do this in a journal, you can do this in one of the many, many, many period tracker apps that there are. I personally use Flow to know what day of my cycle I'm on. And I know there's a whole bunch out there. If you have one, leave it in the comments below so we can all share. Simply just writing down what day of your cycle you're on, how you're feeling and what's going on during that phase of your cycle. In the future, what you can start to do is see those trends and really start to plan out batch content creating in the time that you feel amazing or working on creating courses or having really big um, you know, launches during the times that you feel amazing and then taking a little bit easier in those times that you don't feel so great. Maybe even there's one or two days where you just feel shocking and maybe you can block out your calendar on those days so you don't have to have client calls, client meetings, or you know, go on Facebook Live or anything like that. So it's just about being really prepared and being really organized and working with your cycle. That brings me to my next tip, which is to honor those days that you do feel like crap. You know, trying to just charge through and get things done when you feel uncreative, uninspired, you really don't like the way you look, you really don't like the way you feel, it's gonna make it worse for you. You know, the example that I gave when I did this as a Facebook Live was that if you were a runner and you broke your foot, if you just continue to run, that foot is never going to heal. It's gonna get worse and worse and worse and worse. If you took the time to actually let the foot heal, you'd be back and running in, you know, a, sh a period of time. It's the same, you know, you just take the time to rest and replenish and honor the fact that you have low energy, your hormones are going crazy, you don't feel that great, then you're going to bounce back 
so much quicker. Whereas if you just try to push through, push through, push through, then you're just going to be depleting the little energy that you do have and it's gonna take you so much longer and you're gonna feel worse for a longer period of time. So my next piece of advice is just to take, you know, even if it's half a day, even if it's a morning, even if it's an afternoon, and I know you're gonna give me all the excuses like, I can't do that, I've got kids, I've got a job. Honestly, if you've got kids, can you not get someone to babysit them for just a couple of hours? Or if you've got a job, you know, could you not take a personal day? Or even after you finished, or the weekend, or, you know, just just have an evening to yourself where you don't work, don't go on social media, don't respond to anything. You know, you can find time. You can find a couple of hours to just honor the fact that you feel like crap and you need to do something to totally replenish. And the second part to this tip is that I want you to find the things that you do really enjoy, whether that be taking a bath, going for a walk, going shopping. For me, it's totally laying on the couch and binging on YouTube, particularly like Shane Dawson conspiracy theories. Like it's so not educational or has anything to do with my business. It allows me to just switch off and totally relax. So find the things that you enjoy and just do them. But here's the kicker, do them without guilt. I know for so many people, the reason why this is so hard is because of the competitive mindset that we have. We scroll through social media, looking at everybody else out there hustling, you know, succeeding, and we just make up in our minds, we fill in the gaps with the most positive expectation that they themselves never take a break, that they never have time where they feel like crap or lay on the couch, you know, eating popcorn, watching YouTube. That's not true. We're all human beings. Every single person that you see out there hustling, every single person that you admire online. They have times where they just spend binging on Netflix or relaxing. Every single person does. No one is a superhuman. It's just that they're not showing that because they don't have to. It's not great content to be like, hey guys, I'm like totally bumming on the couch right now. You know, especially if your message is all about empowerment. No one should be expected to have to show the times that they're like, oh, I've totally got cramps right now. Unless that's about your message. It's up to you as the individual to know that everybody's human. And when you take the time out for yourself to do the things that you love so that you can replenish when you've got your period, don't feel guilty about it. Don't feel like everybody else is out there hustling. Nobody's resting because it just isn't true. Everyone deserves a break, especially if you're your hormones are going crazy, you can totally take some time to replenish. I know that got a little heated, but I just had to get that out there. And then my final piece of advice, and this is probably more along the lines of the way that you feel about yourself during your period, during the time where you are actually PMSing or not feeling that great. I spoke to a lot of people and they all agreed that it's really hard to show up, do lives, have client calls, create content when you're feeling really less than perfect. You know, you just have those times where you feel really ugly feel really bloated, you feel really, you know, just blah about the way that you look. And that's totally, totally normal. But I just want to give you one piece of advice here. Make sure that you know, make sure that you adopt the mantra that nobody else realizes. You know, I think it's really easy to fall into the trap of thinking, I feel like shit. I feel like I look like shit. So everybody else is going to think that. It's just not true. We have the worst perceptions of ourselves. The way that we view ourselves is a thousand times more critical than the way that anybody else views us. And if we are feeling absolutely bomb one day and absolutely crap the next, you might notice this massive difference in your appearance, but I promise you with all of my heart, nobody else does. So if you have to show up, I'm talking about if you have to do that live, have to have that client call, have to go to that event, and you're feeling totally blah, please just know that that's only through your eyes and everybody else is gonna think you are just as beautiful and gorgeous as they normally are. You know, I asked my audience when I did this topic live, can you point out a piece of content that I've ever created where you think that I'm on my period because of the way that I look and nobody, of course nobody could find a piece of content because I don't look any different to anybody else and neither do you. Now I know it's still hard and that's why this was my last tip because I, again, I want you to honor the times that you feel like crap takes a little bit of time off and also be prepared by tracking your cycle. But if you do absolutely have to show up, just please keep the mantra in your mind that everybody else just sees you with the beautiful, gorgeous appearance that they normally do. And it's just your mind, your hormones playing tricks on you. So put a really beautiful top on, try to do your hair, put some lipstick on and just go out there and know that you are the same gorgeous person as you always are. Just showing up 
is all you need to do. I really hope this was helpful. I know there's so many tips that we could talk about when it comes to periods or when it comes to showing up when you feel like shit, but I didn't want to overwhelm you and I just wanted to give you these three really simple things that you can do. So make sure you track your cycle and you're super, super organized. You know, if you're a YouTuber, create videos, batch create them in the times that you feel amazing so you've got content for the times that you, you don't feel that great. You know, if you are just a blogger, podcaster, whatever it is that you do, make sure you're really planning your business activities, your creation activities around your cycle by getting to know your cycle and getting to know yourself. Take your time to honor just a day, half a day, a couple hours to just without guilt, rest and recuperate. And then finally, just know that you are always the same gorgeous person, no matter how freaking bloated you feel, nobody else realizes that. So please just don't feel that you're going to be totally judged by the world and just show up and do it with as much confidence as you can. All right, that's it for me. I hope this topic was helpful. I know it was a little different to what I normally talk about, but please leave me in the comments below your thought on this topic. And if you have any other additional tips for how to show up when you are PMSing or feeling like absolute crap, then please do leave them down below as well. I thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.